Hi, everybody. I feel like I'm at a revival. This is great. It's great to be back in my old stomping grounds of San Francisco. When I graduated UCLA, I moved to Northern California, and I lived in a little town called Elk on the Mendocino Coast. And um, I didn't have a phone or TV, but I had U.S. mail. And uh, life was good back then, if you could remember it. Um, I'd go to the general store for a cup of coffee and a brownie, and I'd ship my film to San Francisco, and lo and behold, two days later, it would end up on my front door, which was way better than having to fight the traffic of uh, Hollywood. I didn't have much money, but I had time and a sense of wonder. So I started shooting time-lapse photography. It would take me a month to shoot a four-minute roll of film, because that's all I could afford. I've been shooting time-lapse flowers continuously, non-stop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for over 30 years. And to see them move is a dance I'll never get tired of. Their beauty immerses us with color, taste, touch. It also provides a third of the food we eat. Beauty and seduction is nature's tools for survival because we protect what we fall in love with. It opens our hearts and makes us realize we are a part of nature and we're not separate from it. When we see ourselves in nature, it also connects us to every one of us because it's clear that it's all connected in one. When people see my images, a lot of times they'll say, oh my God. Have you ever wondered what that meant? The O means it caught your attention, it makes you present, it makes you mindful. The my means it connects with something deep inside your soul. It creates a gateway for your inner voice to rise up and be heard. And God, God is that personal journey we all want to be on, to be inspired, to feel like we're connected to a universe that celebrates life. Did you know that 80% of the information we receive comes through our eyes. And if you compare light energy to musical scales, it would only be one octave that the naked eye could see, which is right in the middle. And aren't we grateful for our brains that can you know, take this electrical impulse that comes from light energy to create images in order for us to explore our world? And aren't we grateful that we have hearts that can feel these vibrations in order for us to allow ourselves to feel the pleasure and the beauty of nature. Nature's beauty is a gift that cultivates appreciation and gratitude. So I have a gift I want to share with you today, a project I'm working on called Happiness Revealed. And it'll give us a glimpse into that perspective from the point of view of a child and an elderly man of that world. When I watch TV, it's just some shows that you just, that are pretend. And, and when you explore, you get more imagination than you already had. And um, when you get more imagination, it makes you want to go deeper in so you can get more and see beautiful things. Like it could, the path, if it's a path, it could lead you, it could lead you to a beach or something, and it could be beautiful. You think this is just another day in your life? It's not just another day. It's the one day that is given to you today. It's given to you. It's a gift. 
It's the only gift that you have right now. And the only appropriate response is gratefulness. If you do nothing else but to cultivate that response to the great gift that this unique day is, if you learn to respond as if it were the first day in your life and the very last day, then you will have spent this day very well. Begin by opening your eyes and be surprised that you have eyes you can open. That incredible array of colors that is constantly offered to us for pure enjoyment. Look at the sky. We so rarely look at the sky. We so rarely note how different it is from moment to moment with clouds coming and going. We just think of the weather. And even of the weather, we don't think of all the many nuances of weather. We just think of good weather and bad weather. This day, right now, is unique weather. Maybe a kind that will never exactly in that form come again. The formation of clouds in the sky will never be the same that is right now. Open your eyes, look at that. Look at the faces of people whom you meet. Each one has an incredible story behind their face. A story that you could never fully fathom. Not only their own story, but the story of their ancestors. We all go back so far. And in this present moment, on this day, all the people you meet, all that life from generations and from so many places all over the world, flows together and meets you here like a life-giving water if you only open your heart and drink. Open your heart to the incredible gifts that civilization gives to us. You flip a switch and there is electric light. You turn a faucet and there is warm water and cold water and drinkable water. It's a gift that millions and millions in the world uh, will never experience. So these are just a few of an enormous number of gifts to which we can open your heart. And so I wish you that you will open your heart to all these blessings and let them flow through you that everyone whom you will meet on this day will be blessed by you. Just by your eyes, by your smile, by your touch, just by your presence. Let the gratefulness overflow into blessing all around you. And then it will really be a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much.